Hey, this is Saflevavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another view request. And in this video, I'm going to teach you a finger style arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls of Hit the Road Jack, the mega hit by the late great Ray Charles. Now, first I'm going to play it for you and then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen and everything. I'm going to show you exactly what to play when to play it, how to play it, and I'm gonna show you different ways you can play each line because this is kind of a blues solo so there are many ways you can interpret the lines themselves. So I'm gonna show you exactly um, how to play everything but first let me play it through so you can hear how it goes and then we'll jump right into the lesson. So it goes like this. Okay, so this is in A minor, so there are only four chords throughout the song. A minor, G, F, and E. Okay, this is it. And most of the time you play the bass notes. You play A, G, F, and E. And there are two exceptions to this. Um, you play F7 and E7 one time, and you play F and a very special E7 stretch I'm going to show you later. So, let's begin. The first line goes like this. Okay? Now you can play this in various different ways. Let me teach you my way first and then I'm going to show you uh, different ways to play this. I play it like this. Okay? I, I like to embellish the notes. Um, I slide from 5 to 3 on the B string and then I pull off to 1. Okay? It's a legato. And then uh, I hammer on from one to three on the B string. Okay? And then it's two on the G string. So it's... Now, um, you can let the hammer on go. You can just do this. Okay? Without hammering on from one to three. Okay? You can... You can also not pull off. You can pick the C note. Okay? And you cannot slide. You can uh, you can bend the three. Okay? And pick the one and the three. Okay? Or you can uh, bend, then pull off. And then pick the three. Or you can um, bend, pull off, then hammer on. Okay? There are many ways you can play this. Because this is a blues 
uh, a blues song, basically. And you can play the blues in many different ways. Okay, this is just my way of playing this. Of course, the final note, okay, two on the G string. This is an A note. Now, the bass notes. Let's add the bass notes. The A bass is played along with the second D note, meaning that it's, it comes after the hammer-on. It comes along with the hammer-on, actually. Okay? You play the A bass. And then you play the A note, and then the G bass. Like this. Got it? A, G. A, G. Again. Got it? A, G. Okay, the A bass is along with the D note. The G bass comes after the A note. Okay, um, we've spent enough time on this line, so let's go to the next one. Now, is this. Okay, it's the A note again, and then one on the B string with the F bass. I like to play it with my thumb, but you can uh, bar, or you can use two fingers. I like to play it with my thumb. It enables me more uh, freedom. Okay. Okay. So it's got it. Two on the G string, one on the B string, twice, uh, and you play the F bass along with the first one, and then three on the B string. And then this, along with the E string, which is, okay? Now, again, you can bend this. I like the slide back and forth from three to four, okay? You can either bend this, okay, this is a small bend. Okay, the first bend was a full tone bend. This is a half tone bend. Okay, it's smaller, it's just a small movement. So, and then, again, one on the B string. So, it's either a slide, back and forth, or a bend. One on the B string. So, it's... Okay, F, E. So... The first round of chords, chords, it's just bass notes, but technically it's chords. So the first round goes like this. A, G, F, E. Now, now you play the chords. A minor, okay, once, and then you pick the E string again. And then it's G9. Okay, it's just the G bass and your pinky on 5 on the E string along with open B and G strings. Okay. And then those F7 and E7 I was talking about. Okay, it's just a B7 shape. A normal B7 shape up on 8. And you pick everything but the B string. You pick um, 8 on the E string, 8, 7, and 8 on the G, D, and A strings respectively. Okay? Okay, you don't pick, you don't pick the open B string. So, this is F7, and then one fret below it is E7, and again you pick everything but the B string. Okay, this is it. So it's A minor, G9, 
Okay, F7, D7. Okay, so the first line of the chorus. And then you play the first line again. And then you just finish on A minor. And then the G bass. Okay, the A minor, I like to play um, the G and D strings. And then the A string. And then just down to the G bass with my pinky you don't have to you can do this okay you can just let the a minor go okay and then it's this it's that what you say line so it's it's this it's f it's just a high f on 8 10 10 and 10 okay this is what you pick so you can double bar it and then you don't have to pick the E string. And then it's this. Okay? It's a stretch because you need the high E note. And I wanted to keep it a seventh chord. I wanted an E seventh sound. Uh, you can. The easy way to play this is just to play an E chord. Okay? Just uh, on 9, 9, and 9 on the B, G, and D strings. Um, and add the 12th uh, on the E string and then you have a high E chord and of course you play the E bass which is which sounds good but I wanted to keep it a 7th chord okay for that bluesy sound so um, it's 12 9 and seven. Okay, I use my pinky, my second finger, and my th and my first finger. Okay, four finger, second finger, pinky. Uh, you don't have to. If this is too difficult for you, just play this. Okay, just play, just bar the ninth fret and pinky on twelfth. Okay, it's not that much of a difference. Okay, um, because it's only there for a second. So. Um, so, entire chorus, oh, of course, then you play the chorus again. Okay, and then you just play the bass notes. And then we're gonna play the verse. But, let's go over the chorus one more time, slowly. bass notes again a g f e a minor g9 f7 e7 again f2 e7 then again Keen-eared of you have heard that I've made a small mistake in the bass notes there. So um, let's go to the verse. The verse is okay. It's basically the same line. So again, it's a slide. Okay, to five, and then you play the five again with the A bass, and then. Okay, it's 1-3 on the B string, and then 3 again with the G bass, and then back to 1 on the B string. Got it? A, G, 
G. Okay, then it's it's the same line again. Three, three with the F bass this time. And then one, three, open E string, E bass. Got it? Then again, up to here, and you finish on two on the G string, and then you play the E bass. Okay, uh, then let's play it again. Again, two on the G string and then one on the B string uh, with the A note. And then G along with uh, three on the B string, which is a D note. And then one on the B string. Okay? So A, G. And then just open E string with F and then E on the bass and then again not again I mean this again two on the G string one on the B string but it's a different line you play the C note twice with the A bass and then one on the B string again then with the G bass you play three one on the B string and then two on the G string okay so or okay you can skip the C note and then this this is what I play. Um, this is just F major to E major. Okay, it's it's a note within the chord. It's one on the it's the F bass, one on the E bass, with two on the G string, and then everything goes back one fret, two zero on the E string, and one on the G string. Okay. So the verse again A G F E again with the second uh, ending the A note and then play the chorus again okay uh, now when you finish when you want to finish this you just um, you just repeat the and don't you come back no more and don't you come back no more line uh, as many times as you want you can fade it out if you want um, let me show you how it goes um, It's, uh, you begin the line with the F bass. 
I mean A, G, and then F, and the line begins. Okay, it's uh, F with one on the B string twice, and then three one on the B string, and then this. Remember this? The slide from three to four, the slide back and forth, three, four, three, with the E bass, and then one on the B string, two on the G string, and you begin again, A, G, again. Okay, you can fade this out. Okay, until you can barely hear it, and then you just make um, as if you're playing, and you just stop. Uh, or you can finish on A minor, G, F, E, and high A minor, or A minor 9, which is just bar on 5 on the E, B, and G strings with the A bass, and your pinky on 7. Okay, kind of a jazzy ending to this, if you want. But um, the fade out is a really nice choice as well, uh, if you're performing with this. So, this is Hit the Road Jack. You're done. Now, before you go practice this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, and there are already a ton of lessons on the channel you can choose from and learn. Um, and go to the website, download the tab. It's free, just go, download the tab, and uh, save it down on your computer, print it out, and you can learn from the tab as well, and you can always rewind the video, and uh, just play it again, and learn it in your own time. On the website, when you go download the tab, there's a donation button if you want to give something back for the lesson. If you don't want to give anything, that's okay as well. This is a free lesson. If you want to give something back, I'll be very, very grateful for any donation whatsoever. Anyway, you go practice this. Have fun and make your own arrangement of this. Play this however you want to play it. You can play it. Okay? Uh, you can play the F and E chords like this. You can play uh, F7 and E7. You can substitute chords if you want. You can play uh, barred chords. Okay. You can hammer on the major notes. Okay. You can do many things with these four chords. Uh, the simpler a song is, the more you have uh, room to improvise on. Anyway. I'll stop talking now and let you go play this, you enjoy, and thank you very much for watching.